Hey, what's up guys? This is Zeus5635 here in Destiny 2 at the new tower right after you finish the campaign. Showing you guys just a couple little easter eggs that there are in here. A little bit of fun. Uh, no real practical uses for them, but I don't know. It's just fun to explore the tower. One of them makes you a lot faster and makes you jump higher. The other one just makes a giant ball. Things like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, first we're going to go ahead and play The Floor is Lava because... I don't know why, but they felt like they had to put that in here, and it's actually pretty cool. So if you come up here on this rail above all this, back here, it'll say, don't pick me up, ignore that, just pick it up. And then you'll be red, and now whenever you touch the floor, it'll hurt you. This great stuff doesn't count, but as soon as you touch that, it does. So just be careful of that. And it won't kill you instantly, but it'll kill you after a few seconds. So what your goal is, is you have to get to that beam of blue light. So... Also, guys, you should be aware that there is a timer system so that if you take too long, it'll automatically just start damaging you and kill you. So you have to do this pretty quick. I was standing in, I was standing in one place for too long, and it said a guardian was too slow, and so it just, it just murdered me. So just be aware of that. Now, once you get to the blue light, if you just stand on it for a few seconds, it'll say you have completed the lava challenge. Your red glow will go away, and then whenever you run, you'll have this purplish glue blue glow and now you can move a lot quicker and you can jump a lot higher this um this isn't um anything too big but it does allow you to explore parts of the tower that you weren't able to previously explore and there are things to investigate in the tower like i'm going to show you one right over here that's pretty simple if you come into this area with ikora there's something actually right on top of that ductwork right there but you can't get to it normally but with this you can jump up and grab onto this jump up and over and as you can see you can investigate right there so you can get to places that you couldn't before I know that there are other spots like this in the tower as you can see you can jump on over to here don't I haven't fully explored with everything about this but you guys should probably have quite a bit of things to see with this so yeah let's go ahead and get on to the next one before we move on to the next one I just want to say that this will last until you die or leave the tower so if you jump off the edge or uh, die in another way, I don't even know if there is another way, then you will lose this and you'll have to do it again if you want to use it again, obviously. Alright, if so if you go right back up to where we found the floor is lava thing there, if you come over here, there should be a ball here. And it should start out purple like this. Purple and pretty small. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be kicking four different balls around and we have to make them into a certain area. And then once you do that, a bunch of fireworks will go off in the sky, and it'll look super cool. And then you can uh, play around with an enormous ball. So this first one, pretty simple. We just have to get it over to there. So it, every time you even gradually, like, slowly touch it, it'll still kick it. So make sure that you know where you're kicking it. Just keep going over here. Um, be careful not to, like, get a slight angle at it because it will kick it, like, right off the edge. If you kick a ball off the edge before you've gotten it into the area, then it will just respawn if you just go back over that area. So what you do, just kick it into this area. That was a really big kick. It'll make the sparklers or whatever go off. That means that you've completed it. So that's the first one. And then if you come back over here, you should see yep, a green ball just spawned. So this one is going to be a bit more difficult. So if you just kick this one straight over this ledge right here, you're going to follow it down. And... This can be a little difficult if there are other, you know, guardians in the tower wanting to kick the ball around. But, again, if they kick it off the edge, you can just kick it, uh, you can just have it respawn. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get this ball right down in here where this guard is. That's where it needs to go. It's really difficult because, as you can see, it goes way too far most of the time. But if you can just line it up just right, you should be able to get it. Obviously, as you can see, I can't because I kind of suck. But... If you just get it down in there, you should see the same thing, just all those sparklers and things go off. I wish I wish you could just tap it, but unfortunately that is not the case. But yeah, once you get it in there, it, it'll do the exact same thing, you'll see. Okay, so as you can see, I finally got it down. should roll down. As you can see, the sparklers went off, just like we thought. And if you go back up, there should be a new ball there. So let's go on up here. And this one is a dark purple blue ball ish yeah and so this one this one is a not as difficult 
whatever I'll just show you where it has to go if you get it right up on here you walk it along this walkway and you have to just get it somewhere in this general area at the very end of the walkway I usually just kick it over the edge it always works it'll show like a bunch of sparklers when things go off every time you do this the the area gets like a little smaller except for the second area that one was really small so I don't know what it is there but yeah just kick it over to that area and you'll see the same thing happen alright so I got it over here finally took a little bit but as you can see if you just kinda kick it in this area those four will go off I guess those indicate where exactly you have to kick it but then you come back over here you should get a brand new ball to spawn a blue ball and this one again they keep getting bigger as you go on now this one is by far the most difficult because it's very easy to kick it off the edge but again if you do you can just always just have it respawn but it is really annoying to get it perfectly onto this little walkway but if you just come over here you need to get it onto this walkway and you need to kick it into this little box here like this corner this corner this corner and this corner you just have to get it in there which is quite difficult you can kick it over and it can just go like over and off the map which is okay but hopefully I can not screw this up and yeah once you get it here that was really close so don't do that so it's really close it won't go in there it goes okay so it just clipped the corner of it you got it and then once you do that as the fourth ball you will then have the big ball spawn spawn see it says a huge ball in the kill feed and as you can see tons of fireworks are going off all around the tower which is actually super cool to look at of course with the broken traveler in the back and then you get the giant ball now as you can see it has the it has the destiny logo on it and I'm pretty sure this is the traveler or maybe the moon but either way this is super cool um, it doesn't it floats like really good it's a lot of fun to play with but if you do knock this one off the world it will not respawn you have to do the entire process over again to get it to spawn so usually people knock it off the world pretty quickly just because I, I don't know why they like to be mean but it's okay whatever so yeah that's how you get that I don't know what just happened oh it just okay whatever so yeah, those are the those are just two little quick Easter eggs, guys. If you guys like this video and you want more like it, keep it tuned here, and I will see you guys in the next one.